It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to the glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name's Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I've featured on this channel. All right, so this week's tool comes from Blue Demon, and it is the Stay Sharp 2 Tungsten Grinder. Now, right off the bat, this thing is super high quality, fancy. I don't know what the word is, but like, I was impressed the minute I opened the box. So for you TIG welders out there, you know what a tungsten grinder is. For those of you who don't, when you're TIG welding, you need tungsten. Tungsten is what's actually in the torch, okay? The end of that tungsten needs to be sharpened. For me, quite often, it needs to be sharpened. For most TIG welders, you gotta sharpen it quite often. You're gonna dip it in the puddle, you're gonna, you're gonna mess up. Material that you're welding with is gonna be dirty, it's gonna kinda splatter on there. You need to take this thing out, take it back, and sharpen it up. Now there's a bunch of ways to sharpen tungsten. Depending on who you're talking to, it could be the totally wrong way to the perfect way. There's a big spectrum there. I've been guilty of just taking this thing to the belt sander, sharpen it up, get back to work. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna introduce foreign metals to the tungsten, which is what a belt grinder could do. So that's why they say you're not supposed to do it. Honestly, that's why you need something like this. You need a dedicated tungsten grinder. You can take this thing over to the belt sander, kind of clean it up. If you got a bunch of junk on it, kind of clean it up. But your finished grind, your finishing sharpening should happen on something like this. The reason that this thing is uh, so magnificent in my eyes is because it has everything incorporated into one. So hopefully you can see this, but if you look around the top here, you'll see a bunch of holes, and then you'll see a degree right there, right there. Well, look, there's another one right there, and right there, and right there. So basically this thing incorporates all the degrees of grind that are popular when grinding tungsten. And back to the folks that may not know what I'm talking about. So the actual sharpness of the tungsten matters too, depending on what you're doing. The sharper it is, the wider the cone of the arc is, and the sharper the angle is, I hope I'm saying that right, the more precise the cone of the arc is. So if it's super, super sharp, if the angle's laid way back, you're gonna have a wide cone which you know you may want. You might want a wide cone, move that heat out, right? But sometimes you want to kind of get right in a tight spot, you want to penetrate more, kind of want to bring those angles in a little bit, get a tighter cone, a little more control, and it's really personal preference when it comes down to how you like to sharpen your tungsten, what kind of cone on the arc you like to have. With this bad boy, you get all of them. So you can do 15 degrees, 18 degrees, 22 and a half degrees, and 30 degrees. And it's set up for every size tungsten. Four millimeter, 3.2 millimeter, 2.4 millimeter, two millimeter, 1.6, and 1.0. This here is a 2.4 millimeter tungsten. And so when you slide it in this hole, this is the 30 degree hole. It's gonna give you the perfect 30 degrees to sharpen that tip. Now, if I come over here to the 15 degree hole, See the difference? It's 15 degrees to the actual cutting surface inside of this sharpener. So you can go from 15, like I said, all the way around. Here's 22 and a half. So basically, you just turn this thing on, you stick it in there, you just kind of turn this thing, sharpen it nice, nice and sharp, pull it out, you're ready to rock and roll. The cool thing is sometimes you want a, and I know this is gonna be confusing to people who don't TIG weld, don't know anything about TIG welding, but sometimes you want to sharpen it, but then you want to, you want to kind of dull the point of it. Well, right here on the end of this thing, you can basically slide this right on top and it's gonna kind of dull the tip of this after sharpening it. Well, that sounds weird, but that's what you want sometimes. So you just slide this bad boy right on top, slide down in there, kind of knock the, knock the point off it, you're ready to rock and roll. Comes with this rad shield that goes on, 
And the way this thing works is the shield itself just spins depending on what you want to line it up with. If you want a 30 degree, 30 degree grind, just line it up with the 30 degree 2.4. Has a little slot right here in the shield. So I think the slides right in that little slot, everything else is covered up. You ain't got dust and stuff flying everywhere. You're ready to go. And then it has a little cover here on the top. You can pop this cover off. And that is for when you want to knock the tip off that thing. So let's uh, let's fire it up and give her a run. Very, very nice. So if you're not familiar with Blue Demon welding products, they make all kinds of stuff for welding, including this Stay Sharp 2 tungsten grinder, which is amazing. They even sent me some game changer welding gloves. Really anything you need. If you need some welding supplies, go check them out. Blue Demon welding products. I will drop you a link in the description. You can thank me later. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. It's Friday, fool.